Here are some other headlines we're following for you tonight. Newly released warrants reveal a, a Covington father's final moments before he was declared missing. Derek Perkins is in custody tonight, charged with improperly disposing of 43-year-old Nathan Millard's body. The Covington father disappeared late last month while on a business trip in Baton Rouge. According to new warrants, Millard left a local pub to buy drugs. Witnesses told investigators he then overdosed, and that's when they say Perkins wrapped his body in a rug to dispose of it. But Millard's official cause of death has not been released. Every time it rains, can't sleep. When we have the flood, it's just like a river or an ocean was opened up. Georgia Senator John Ossoff announcing today more than two and a half million federal dollars are going to Clayton County to help prevent flooding, specifically in the area of Camp Creek watershed. Ossoff says he expects the money to arrive from the EPA this fiscal year, but not until an engineering analysis gives the Clayton County Board of Commissioners more information. No word on how long the work will take. A bill to increase semi-trucks weight limits on Georgia roads getting an update tonight. Lawmakers want to add four more tons to that limit, some saying this will help clear freight backlogs. But a proposed tweak to the bill would increase penalties for trucks that still go over the new limit and would help provide funding for damaged roads. There are just four days left in this legislative session, so the pressure is on to get this and other legislation hammered out.